2018 Land Rover Range Rover Evoque Review. The Good Points of Land Rover Range Rover Evoque Distinctive Looks Classy Interior Capable on and off road Class Leading Residuals The Bad Points of Land Rover Range Rover Evoque Outdated Infotainment Expensive to Purchase Wide for any compact SUV. Poor rear visibility. Since its launch this season, the Range Rover Evoque has firmly established itself as Land Rover's best selling car. It's easy to see why, it is one sleek, attractive looking off roader. It's due for replacement late in 2018 but it is still known as the most desirable SUV in their sector with the market, that is no mean achievement in our fast-moving car market. What's more impressive is usually that the Evoque increased against some very talented opposition. The premium crossover market, which Land Rover had to itself is now packed for the rafters with talented opposition. The Audi Q3, BMW X1 Mercedes-Benz GLA and many countrymen and queuing up for the investment, and many types of are younger, and arguably fresher. Most Range Rover Evoque customers select the practical 5-door SUV, nevertheless for those seeking extra individuality there's an even more rakish 3-door coupe version and a daring 2-door convertible. Search used Range Rover Evoques on the market 20,112,018. Long Term Test, Range Rover Evoque HSE Lux SD4 Range Rover Evoque, Striking Looks and Road Presence When the Evoque went into production it had been a revelation because so very little around the car had changed from when it absolutely was first considered as the LRX concept car in 2007, it absolutely was spectacular. Even today, you're hard pushed to identify a better looking, classier, crossover your money can buy. The design undoubtedly turns heads, nevertheless, you have to think about, is this fact all style over substance? Land Rover's ably demonstrated that's false. For instance, it's designed with the firm's terrain response system, meant to cope with many tricky conditions. It's satisfyingly capable off-road even on lower spec models where exactly the front wheels are impelled. Range Rover Evoque interior has stood quality of time. Undoubtedly it can appeal to city slickers who desire a little urban chic together with something they will take for the country for the bit of a jaunt around the rough stuff, plus it should please people that simply want something distinct. Although less dashing versus the exterior, the Range Rover Evox cabin is classy and, pursuing the mild facelift in 2015, particularly luxurious, with leather enveloping the dashboard and door panels. In short, it is just a terrific looking effort. The instrumentation is obvious, the switch bear is chunky, if you choose a mechanical version, you get the same rotary gear selector that you will find in the Jaguar type or full fat Range Rover. It's simple, elegant, and simply works. Sporty yet efficient selection of engines. Much widely used are the two of 2.0 liter diesels, with 180 horsepower on tap plus a choice of manual and automatic transmissions. The four-wheel drive TD4 versions deliver a solid mix of pace, economy and capability, but it really is letting wheel drive Ed4 with 150 horsepower that's one of the most cost-effective. Opt to the entry-level mechanical package and, while you're unlikely to discover the quoted 65.7 miles per gallon in real life, CO2 emissions of 113 GKM insured car tax charges would be the lowest inside range. Since 2017, there's al been a 240 horsepower SD4 turbo diesel version. 
This one boasts 500 newton meters of torque for just a 062 miles per hour duration of 6.9 seconds. But it's still reasonably efficient. Having official combined fuel consumption of 48.7 miles per hour and 153 gkm of CO2 emissions. In reality, we think it is averages a lot more like 33 miles per gallon in real world driving during our long term test. Not many opt for essentially the most powerful Evox, the C4, powered by 240 horsepower and 290 horsepower 2.0 liter petrol engines, that has a 9 speed automatic gearbox and 4 wheel drive as standard. A 6.0 second 062 miles per hour time might impress using the 290 horsepower addition, nevertheless, its thirst for fuel causes it to be expensive to run. What's the Evoque wish to drive? Very good. Despite doing in years, and being dependent on aging Ford architecture, the Evoque is usually a well resolved driver's car. The steering is filled with feel, well weighted and excellent for the motorway, the handling is faithful, and OE scent ever feel beyond its depth on A and broads, even though the ride, even on 20 inch alloys, is perfectly acceptable. Firm, but well damped. It's hushed at speed, with little inside way of wind and road noise. Engine refinement lags behind the very best on the opposition, however, it is well insulated, making sure that diesel clatter won't both you much. The 9 speed automatic transmission is responsive, and makes good use with the diesel engine's narrow power band, so it is long legged and restful about the motorway but responsive and eager when pushing inside bends. Wed like that it is a little more responsive from sport mode, that is a minor criticism. Range Rover Luxury in a very compact SUV package As befitting the Range Rover aspect in the Evox name, even entry level say is generously furnished with 8-away electrically adjustable front seats, leather upholstery, automatic wipers, electrically folding door mirrors with puddle lights and parking sensors. Unsurprisingly, it doesn't feel as plush because the full-sized Range Rover, nevertheless it nevertheless feels upmarket and special weight against its rivals, amplified from the generous using leather, contrast stitching and general detailing. Overall, it's actually a very satisfying car drive and automobile and own. So that as we have found, the Evoque is continuously developed throughout its life to remain for the pace of their younger rivals. The Verdict Since its debut next year, the Range Rover Evoque is among the most default selection for those looking for any premium but compact SUV. But that's selling the Evoque short, because even when you didn't buy it just for the prestigious badge about the tailgate, Choosing left using a feel good SUV that will continue to impress even from the long term. The Range Rover Evoc just isn't perfect, far away from it, actually. The boot is small, the spine is cramped, it's hard to discover out of, along with the sheer weight on the thing drags down its fuel efficiency. But there is substance behind those appearance, and genuine off and on road ability to bolster its credentials since the UK's favorite premium SUV. Range Rover Evoc SUV Review 4-cylinder, 2.0-liter petrol and diesel engines Excellent 9-speed automatic on 4WD versions Active driveline reduces fuel consumption on 4WDS Although there's no dedicated sporty model within the Range Rover Evoc range, performances of your level that each one barring the least powerful version can sprint from 062 miles per hour in just a few seconds or less. Range Rover Evoc, economical diesels needed. As part with the 2015 revisions, the fermentation 2.2 liter diesel motors were ousted and is overtaken by Jaguar Land Rover's more contemporary 2.0 liter Ingenium group of power plants. 
Kicking the lineup off would be the F4 capability engine, only available that has a combination of 6-speed manual gearbox and front-wheel drive. It produces 150 horsepower and 380 newton meters of torque from 1,750 revolutions per minute, enough for any top speed of 113 miles per hour as well as a 062 miles per hour use of 11.2 seconds. That a capability suffix, plus the Avoc badge finished in blue, works with this being one of the most efficient on the range with claims of 65.7 miles per gallon and CO2 emissions of 113 GKM. If you'd prefer something having a bit more poke, together with four-wheel drive as well as the option from the excellent 9-speed automatic transmission, then your TD4 might be more likely to fit the bill. Powers increased to 180 horsepower with peak torque rising to 430 newton meters but nonetheless available from 1750 revolutions per minute stick together with the standard manual transmission for the top speed of 124 miles per hour and also a 10.0 second 062 miles per hour the SD4 will be the top of the range diesel Evoque, having inherited this version in the Ingenium engine on the Range Rover Veeler it packs 240 horsepower and 500 newton meters of torque, pushes out 153 gkm of CO2, cracks the 060 miles per hour dash in 6.9 seconds, and tops out with an impressive 135 miles per hour. The automatic, which swaps gears so smoothly that you just only sense the shifts in manual mode, tops out at 121 miles per hour but completes precisely the same acceleration test in 9.0 seconds. Quicker, thirstier petrol. Choose both the .0 liter C4 petrol and also the 9-speed automatics your sole transmission choice. They complement the other person, although at higher revs the motor's blighted by sounding a little bit overstretched in lieu of sporty. Still, it's brisk. Courtesy of their 240 horsepower output and 340 newton meters of torque from the diesel matching 1750 revolutions per minute, so that it is a flexible power plant that's linear rolling around in its power delivery. Top speeds not especially high at 135 miles per hour, nonetheless it feels sprightly, completing the 062 miles per hour dash in 7.6 seconds. Our new petrol engines from 2017. From summer 2017, the Evoc was fitted together with the Ingenium group of turbocharged 2.0 liter petrol engines, while they will continue to be badged C4. Details are currently scanned, but expect both 240 horsepower and 290 horsepower versions in the engine. Rogues completing the 062 miles per hour sprint in 6.0 seconds. Part time four wheel drive option. All four WD Evox are available with all the option of active driveline, which only provides four wheel drive as needed. Otherwise, in steady driving above 22 miles per hour, your vehicle uses just sends power towards the front wheels to avoid wasting fuel. Not especially sporty they are driving on road. Optional active driveline boosts efficiency. Surprisingly capable off of a beaten track. The difficulty the Range Rover Evoc faces is wanting to achieve a delicate juggling act in terms of handling. It's very hatchback like, however you can't get away from your fact that it is still a tall vehicle by having an appropriately higher level of ground clearance. This means that about the road you can't feel entirely confident in corners or expect it to dart throughout the turns with virtually no body roll. The models with adaptive suspension feel agile and well planted, but ultimately, the width in the Evoc hampers your confidence on narrower, more difficult, roads. Yes, for the crossover it gives you decent degrees of traction, particularly within the dry. But within the wet the nodes don't react quite together with you would like, pushing wide through bends and the adventure press on way too hard. 
that's where you're reminded how the Evoc is really a proper off-road vehicle instead of a boutique SUV. Nevertheless, the steering is responsive, in case you employ a model with Land Rover's MagnaRide system standard on dynamic versions, optional on others the suspension firms as much as give which you flatter ride on cornering. The downside could be the ride quality becomes jittery to use firmest setting, specifically when coupled with larger wheel diameters. Models fitted using the optional active driftline feature technology that ensures the wheels with probably the most traction get essentially the most power. This lessens the likelihood on the Evoc running wide in the corner and improves agility. It can also swap between two and four wheel drive modes almost imperceptibly, selecting tow wheel drive mode instead of state driving to realize the best fuel economy figures. Get the Evoc off road, also, it will commence to show its real abilities due to Range Rover's all terrain response system, which includes four settings built to deal with numerous challenging conditions, regardless if you are on rutted country lanes, rocky terrain, sand, or snow. The Evoc may seem like an urban cruiser but, really, it is rather at home within the rough stuff. It's also beneficial to towing, though, hauling as much as 1.8 tons of braked trailer. High quality cabin makes its occupants feel special. Worth stretching on the upgraded multimedia system. Commanding view out, even though windows are narrow. Once inside Range Rover Evoc, it's difficult to never feel like you are somewhere special, particularly on models sold from mid-2015 having an increased by using leather for the dashboard and door panels. There's a familiar uncluttered vibe on the cabin, as experienced inside the larger Range Rovers, but even though it feels well built, the Evoc's switchgear and controls certainly are a tad down market weight against its bigger siblings. Higher spec Evox have an even more expensive looking 10.2 inch version from the multimedia system generally known as in Control Touch Pro, with crisp graphics plus a much more responsive user experience as opposed to cheaper setup. Being an SUV, the Evox gives its, its occupants a rapid view on the road ahead, however the lofty views are somewhat impinged from the shallow depth from the windows and thicker pillars. Forward visibility is decent, though with broad door mirrors letting you keep tabs of what's taking behind you, as well because the trunk screen is especially shallow, as well as doesn't really supply you with much view to try out with. All Evox have electrically adjustable front seats so establishing the right driving position shouldn't pose some people a problem. Comfortable seats with a lack of side support. Larger wheels can transmit vibrations towards the cabin. Engine's refinement is so-so, but is actually comparatively hushed. Although the Range Rover Evoque can be a plush SUV, the sense of luxury doesn't always extend for the ride quality. There's no escaping which the ride quality could be jittery over rougher road surfaces, particularly if fitted with 20-inch alloy wheels. It's firm, however the damping is nice, so you won't be too uncomfortable. There is definitely an above the average volume of tire noise rumbling into the cabin within the larger wheels. It's unlikely to show to be a deal breaker though, and you will probably still feel fresh immediately after hours driving, even when you have been driving on uneven asphalt. While the seats offer decent amounts of back support, the bases certainly are a little flat and also you don't feel hemmed as much as you desire on cornering. Dipside that, they support from the right places, and work efficiently on longer journeys. Both the diesel and petrol engines are muted, however the former is pretty audible once you ramp up the revs, and clattery at idle, particularly if cold. Wind noise in which the air blows about the large door mirrors, is pleasingly minimal. High numbers of standard kit throughout the range. All have electric seats, dab radio and alloy wheels. Wide array of pricey options to select from. 
five trim levels are available for that Range Rover Evoque, say, Saytec, HSE Dynamic, HSE Dynamic Lux and Autobiography. There's fashionable wide array of optional accessories to customize your Evoque, but be aware you don't choose options that can negatively get a new resale value from the car. Things like garish color schemes and graphics can be a little an acquired taste and may even put some prospective buyers off. Standard Range Rover Evoque SUV Equipment Kicking things off would be the well-equipped say, which comes with Cruise Control Electronic Stability Control A Leather Tire Heated and 8 away electrically adjustable front seats. Front and rear parking sensors. Automatic headlights and wipers. 8 speaker subwoofer with DAB radio. Lane departure warning with autonomous emergency braking. 18 inch alloy wheels. Moving approximately say tech ads. A black finish to your grill wing vents, door mirrors and door inserts. A heated front windscreen. Bixen on headlamps with LED day or running lamps. Front fog lamps. In control touch multimedia system. The to begin two sporty looking trims commences with a chassis dynamic. A body kit. Black bonnet louvers. Stainless steel pedals. Illuminated Range Rover T watch plates. 12 way powered seats with lumbar support and memory. Hard disk Satanov. A 380 watt meridian sound system with 11 speakers and subwoofer. Rear parking camera. 20 inch alloys. Building on this really is the HSE Dynamic Lux trim which adds A glass roof Keyless entry An automatic tailgate Self-parking function Surround view camera And a 25 watt meridian surround sound system with 17 speakers and subwoofer 10.2 inch in control touch pro multimedia system with dual view. Automatic headlamps and main beam. Blind spot monitor with closing vehicle sensing. Reverse traffic detection. Lane keeping assist with lane departure warning. Autonomous emergency braking. Finally, there's the top of the range autobiography model. 14 way powered seats with lumbar support and memory. Heated rear seats. Full leather interior. Illuminated autobiography T watch plates. Premium carpet mats. Range Rover Evoque SUV, optional extras. As well to be a laundry set of individual extras there is fashionable wide selection of option packs it's fine to use to your Evoque. There's the useful for Britain cold climate convenience pack, which gets that you heated windscreen, heated washer jets and heated tire. The generous like quick driver assistance pack contains automatic parking, rear parking surround view camera, blind spot monitor, Lane keeping improve lane departure warning, autonomous emergency braking and attention assist, plus traffic sign recognition and automatic headlamps with higher beam assist. To a tart exercising. Visual style the black design pack includes front fog lamps and headlamps with darkened finish and rear tail lamps with clear finish, front sump trim finisher, rear upper sump valance, Exhaust finishers and Range Rover lettering in Santrini black, with 20 inch satin black alloys. For gadgets, you'll want the technology pack mainly because it gets you keyless entry, hands free powered tailgate, surround camera system, Meridian sound system 380 watts with 11 speakers, premium hard disk Satanov, and adaptive LED headlamps and cornering lights. 
Treating those inside the front would be the front seat entertainment pack, which contains an 8-inch touchscreen with dual view then one set of white fire headphones, digital TV, and also a Meridian surround sound system 825 watts with 17 speakers and DAB radio. Expand that to your back seats with all the front and rear seat entertainment pack which comes with the 8-inch touchscreen with dual view, digital TV, DAB radio, plus a Meridian surround sound system 825 watts. The in-control connect plus pack adds connectivity options like in-control Wi-Fi, in-control apps and in-control remote premium for that warranty period. Make things easy using the convenience pack adding keyless entry, hands-free powered tailgate, head-up display and sunscreen and windscreen. The luxury seating pack gets which you heated windscreen, heated washer jets, heated controls, climate front and heated rear seats, full Oxford leather interior, and 14-way electric memory front seats with lumbar support and massage. Finally there's the Dynamic Plus Pack, which adds 12-way electric and heated front seats, rear electric memory sports seats with lumbar support, and full Oxford leather interior. 5 star Euro and CAP Safety Rating Not all Evox take advantage of four-wheel drive. Suite of onboard electronics to maintain you safe. Safety is really a Range Rover Evox strong point even for models not fitted with Land Rover's four-wheel drive system as well as the extra traction that setup affords. It scored the whole 5 star Euro and cap rating when put underneath the crash test expert's microscope, not surprising given it's inherently strong. All-round airbags help cushion occupants in collisions and two ice-fix child seat mounting points are located from the rear seat. There can be a number of active safety systems installed, all meant to try and stay away from the Evox driver from being involved in an accident inside the first place. Electronic stability control is complemented by autonomous emergency braking, landkeeping assist plus a driver fatigue detection system. All barring bases pack Evox are fitted with Bixen on headlamps and LED day or running lights for more safety. Designed package means rear space is compromised. Visibility out from the narrow rear windows is poor, too. Plenty of boot space, though and also a decent tow car. With five doors and also a higher roof line than its counterparts, the Range Rover Evoc SUV is by far the most practical from the trio of body styles, although many of the company's rivals tend to be spacious particularly for backseat passengers. That said, it's greater than suitable to get a couple of small children wear picnic baskets, push chairs along with other paraphernalia are along the same lines of regular trips. There can also be plenty of cubbies and welcos in locations for water bottle holders. While the styling will get you a good amount of looks, visibility is really a lot compromised. The shallow rear window doesn't provide a great view out on the back and oversized door mirrors mean your view if you are turning at tight angles isn't great. We'd also love some grab handles with the passenger, too. Height aside, the Evoc uses up a similar volume of room around the road like a conventional family hatchback, so slotting it in a supermarket parking space shouldn't prove tricky. The design of Devoc just isn't as impractical you may think, there's 575 liters of load space with all the rear seats up and 1445 liters using them down. Land Rover is usually keen to indicate that it has brought the trouble to produce the Evoc Pay Steam Friendly, with room for just a couple of golf bags inside boot, through the use of spare space at the side with the car. The Evox footprint isn't huge in comparison with other Range Rover products, but rearward visibility isn't great hence the acoustic parking sensors, rear view camera and automatic parking system may be useful if this can be a concern.